Now Adele has been named the richest young musician in Britain and Ireland with a fortune of £85 million, topping the Sunday Times' 2016 lineup of wealthy under 30s. She comes in second only to Enya, remember her, as the richest female singer. So how has she achieved such success? Joining me now is Stephen Budd, co-chair of the Music Managers Forum. Very good afternoon to you. It's a tidy sum, isn't it? How's she done it? It's an awful lot of money and it's been incredible. Well, I mean... Since the album, the current album, was released in uh, November of last year, she sold 20 million copies of that album around the world. Uh, and it's continuing to sell at a phenomenal rate. The album's been number one in pretty much every country in the world except for... I think it's South Korea and Japan are the only two countries where it didn't make it to number one, and even then it sold really well in those places. And, of course, she's touring uh, now. So uh, for the first time, she's playing big... Um, arenas as opposed to the much smaller theatres that she played at before. She's playing these huge arenas. She's on a tour for, which has already been going for a month and extends all the way through to November of this year uh, around Europe uh, and uh, America, Canada, etc. In America, um, something like uh, 10 million people applied for the tickets for her tour. And there's only um, 750,000 tickets available. So you can see she's become a bit of a money-making machine. And um, frankly, it's down to the quality of who she is as a performer and, of course, the songs. A pretty canny lass, though, isn't she? Because she chose to keep the latest album off streaming services, which meant that people had to pay the full whack if they wanted the album. And that's really uh, made a big boost to her income, hasn't it? It's made a massive boost to her income and it also, um, you know, had, had an effect on the overall uh, volume of album sales through for, uh, the, the, for, for the record industry over the last uh, period as well. Um, but there's a debate to be had about whether that's a, a good thing in the long term or not, but it's, it's certainly worked for her in this particular instance in driving people to buy CDs in the first place before they've eventually uh, are putting the album onto, onto streaming services. What are you saying? You're saying it's only for sort of more established artists like herself who could actually take that gamble and it pay off? Um, I think so, yes. Yeah. So there's, there's a few people who've been trying that. Um, it, it's, it's a shame for those people who have migrated completely to streaming services because, of, the, of course, they're not really going to be able to hear uh, the album until it arrives on those services, and some of those may decide that they're going to go towards pirates, um, and, and that'll increase piracy. But, but um, one can understand when they've put so much effort and, and a brilliant campaign, which was structured by the, uh, the manager and the record company, around a why they would want to maximise the possibility of selling CDs. And they've done that so brilliantly. And now, of course, they're going to make a lot of money out of the merchandising on tour. She's going to be making a lot of money from the airplay of the, of, of, of the, the singles that are on the radio. Um, and, you know, all sorts of uh, income streams are opening up for her uh, now. But it's not, no surprise to me that where she is on the rich list. And I think that next year she will have done considerably better than that. I want to ask you about Enya, because she's the name that's popped up at the top of the list for wealthiest yes. female musicians. It's a name I don't think I've heard of for 20 or so years. And what was her famous song? Was it Sail Away, I think it was? It, it back, was indeed, yeah. yeah back in or, 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 Orinoco Flow, Orino, was that another it. one? Yeah. Or, okay. Wasn't it the same song? I don't know, Showing I can't remember. Age. But 91 million pounds, and I haven't heard her name for decades. What's going yeah. on there? Well, I mean, it's it, these are accumulative earnings over years. You know, Adele's still very young. I mean, by the time she's... she's uh, um, Enya's age, I think she would have earned considerably more. But, I mean, Enya's done amazingly. Of course, she wrote all her own songs as well. Um, in, and in a period when she sold hundreds of millions of albums. So, you know, nowadays, for Adele to sell 20 million albums is an incredible achievement. But if you look back 30 years, 30 years ago and 20 years ago, people were selling those kind of quantities of records. Um, and, of course, she really made her, her main impact in that period 20 years ago and sold absolutely millions of albums. So that's how she generated that much income. But it won't be, I don't think, particularly growing um, her, her income, whereas Adele's, I think you'll see it's on a curve like that. It's going up. Wow, that's crazy. She's 27. She's worth uh, £85 million. Pounds, so she's got something to look forward to in 30 she years' has. time. It's a shame she's not single. As if she needed it. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Sure, I'm sure you'd be in there, Stephen. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much.